have speedy boarding so I'm walking past all these presents <laughs> Buongiorno, uh, me, me, me chiama is Jessica and I am speaking, what language am I speaking? I'm speaking Italian because we is in Milan. Um, so Vanessa and I very spontaneously, literally like less than two weeks ago, were like, um, she shared a tweet and it was like, <clears throat> I'm tired of looking back on memories. I want to make new ones. And um, we found ourselves in Milan. So... I am super excited. Italy has been on my travel bucket list for ages um, and I've just arrived now and it's about like just before four o'clock or just after four o'clock and Vanessa's meant to be arriving at about five o'clock. So I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing for you and just like my other vlog, the Lake District vlog, I'm gonna be putting all the places and everything that we go to, the places, locations. So like if you're gonna be here for three days and you need inspo, don't worry, I've got you. I've got a bit of a cold. So that's why I sound like this, but enjoyment have we have. Does anybody know what the name of it is? This is beautiful. It's got black currant, blue rose, and amber. Oh, luxury. So I was able to buy these two tickets, and this one is allows me on the bus, tram, and metro for the three days, three journey, and um, for 13 euros. So that's pretty good, I think. So I've just realized that Italy has different charges to the UK. That's my toxic trait. Like, I forget that different countries have different charges. Who started that idea? Like, why do different countries have different charges? There should be a universal thing. There should be USB ports everywhere. I don't know what I'm going to do because um, my battery is definitely on low. Um, oopsie. Okay, so top tip, make sure that you validate your ticket before you get onto the transport. So I was supposed to get a fine, but by the grace of God, he didn't give me one. Now I'm about to go onto the metro, but this place is literally so pretty and beautiful. Um, I'm so gassed. just arrived in the airbnb let's do a little tour first impressions so the outside oh my god i literally have to show you the outside it's so cute how cute is this airbnb i literally cannot cope and then on the inside so then now you like enter in sitting room living room area dining area let me lock that bedroom so I'm loving the um, beams and things like that. It's the bedroom. I've looked high and low for a charger or like a converter type thing. I can't find it yet. That's very cute where the closet is. This is it. Hello, hello. But this is the um, bathroom. So it's a cute little it's a cute little apartment, you know? It's compact. More compact than what the Airbnb looked like, but you know how Airbnbs can be. And there's only two of us, so for three days. Um, so I think it's... Is that my friend? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I can video you. <laughs> Hello! Hello! my link off in Milano. <laughs> okay, so we have gotten ready. Show your beautiful face. <laughs> and we're about to go to Osteria de Fortunata. Now, we found this place on TikTok. A TikTok... Rec a TikTok it, recommendation. TikTok with it. <laughs> like, play you. Oh. Um, now this was a TikTok recommendation. Most of our itinerary is TikTok. To be fair. Yeah, most of it is TikTok. So we'll see you there. Hello. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh wow. I'm with my date, <laughs> and our food has arrived. So what did you order? 
fettuccine and mastacchiano. Hey. <laughs> and I ordered a pasta with artichokes. You try um, <laughs> uh, Very excited to try. Let's see. I'm so excited. This is handmade pasta. Yeah. Flavor. Mm -hmm. Then also. So we've just finished at uh, where were we? Osteria de Fortunata. Come on with the Italian outfit check. So jacket, urban outfitters. Um, this is vintage round closet. Um, and this Australian boutique white box. Um, Air Force and then pretty little. Ooh. What your outfit? Mine. You want to do yours? What you know about me? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so this is, I'm new to this guys, this is ASOS. <laughs> this is probably, I'm gonna guess Pretty Little Thing. Okay. These are ASOS. Okay. Pretty Little Thing and Nike. Nice. nice. <laughs> so how was Osteria de Fortunata? My belly is full. Thank you, God. Yeah, we were literally like, oh, is pasta gonna fill us up? It, it has. Could. <laughs> It's day two in Milano and we are excited. This is our full day. So we've made sure that we like went to bed at a reasonable time yesterday. So for the evening, we want to do fancy dinner um, and go to the spa QC Terma Milano, which is like this, like it's a spa that's open until like midnight and you can like have a massage under the stars and stuff. So excited. The original plan was for us to go to, to Lake Como, but because it's raining, I think we're going to jig things up a bit. But first, we're going to go get brunch. Again, another TikTok recommendation. And then we'll have the fuel to think about what we want to do for like the day part. So we are very confused as to how <laughs> the crossing system works in this um, country. Because it will be green, but cars will still be turning into your path. So it's I don't optional. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We feel like the traffic lights are suggestion rather than instruction. <laughs> Oh my god, look at how cute he looks! Oh, yeah, oh yeah, so you need to take a picture. Um, so we'll just update them. So we just finished at um, Gel Semino. Oh my goodness gracious, that was paying. That was beautiful. That was, that was really, really good food. Um, and now we're gonna walk, it's like about half an hour walk so we can see a little bit of Milan and things. We're going to the Duomo Cathedral. Um, yeah, the Call sun is shining. Is. <laughs> we really brought the sunshine with us. Um, so Vanessa, you are in charge. Oh, I am, but I want a cute little picture here. Oh yes, most definitely. So I'm gonna take some pictures now. thought that we would try to sneak in on the um wow let me turn the camera 
<clears throat> we thought we would try to sneak in on the um, <laughs> on the tourist. What, is, what do you call that? Tour, on the tour, tour, tour guide. On the tour guide. And we were like, but we remembered who we are. Black girls. <laughs> we can, we cannot be inconspicuous. Wow. But we is it that way? But we. It's beautiful. The conclusion that we've already come to from just one minute of being in this like square is in this life have money <laughs> of what my just take it all in <laughs> so here we've got prada we've here we got go. Gucci, we've got Louis tell them we've got ISL, YSL, ISL. <laughs> which one is your personal favorite <laughs> Can't be limited in this life. Oh yes, okay. amen, amen. It was a trick question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've just reached Cathedral Duomo. Wow, it's so beautiful and big. We don't know any stats about it yet, so we need to go and learn some stuff. Just bought tickets for the Duomo. We thought, you know what? We're here, so you might as well see inside. Me as well. Uh, and I'm so excited. I think it's going to be really, really beautiful inside, to be fair. So why well, this looks like the Barcelona Cathedral? When when you're up here, yeah. there's a little bit on the side. Okay. Like, no. We've taken all the pictures in the world. I think a lot. Uh, <laughs> the lighting was uh, difficult to find, but I think we got there in the end. <laughs> We've reached the tip tip top now. <laughs> hello again um we had such an amazing time on our first half of the day so we went for brunch and then walked through like the fashion district and things into duomo the cathedral um and i went, quickly went to zara to get a few um basics and um yeah now we've come back and we're getting ready for the second half of our day so we've gotten ready as you can see we went outside to like the outside bit because it's very cute we got some pictures on the outside bit to be fair but on the downstairs we thought it was gonna give but it didn't give what it needed to give you know them ones where you feel like the vision didn't execute but we've got some cute pictures i'll put some here <laughs> um and now we're changing into our trainers and we're trying to get some pizza um and then yeah we're running are we running i think we're, we're running on time we're, okay um <laughs> So Vanessa is learning that they that they do uh, but not but they do olive oil here, no butter. So we've got the meatballs, bread, and arancini for starters. Bellissimo. <laughs> no, they said come to Italy for the food, and they didn't lie. There was no cap there. They cook, not like other wazungu. They cook like <laughs> they cook a certain way, a certain way that makes sense. The stew, the sauce, the stew. Like stew. Exactly. The tomato sauce is like stew. It was making a lot of sense. And um, I'm not getting a glass, we've got a bottle. I'm enjoying the house white. So far, so good. I'm trying to make space for the pizza. 
How on earth are we going to finish these pizzas? Good luck, Charles. That food truly, truly slapped. Like, I'm so happy. And now we're walking to the spa and we're walking past Vermo Cathedral in the nighttime and it looks so beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I'm just ready to relax. And oh, I need to show you this cathedral right now. We booked a massage and everything. So, we are so excited. Well fed, well watered, or well wind up. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a relaxing night. Now, if you come to Milan, you need to come here. This is a highlight. Then this is just the coolest thing ever. This is the outdoor pool. Oh my god. We're not leaving. We're not leaving this place. If they if they shut us in, then we'll sleep here. Gladly. <laughs> this this is like this is life. We feel like oh goodness. Yeah. Well we made it for our pictures. What are your thoughts? <laughs> I've eaten, I've tramped, I've done spirituality, I've walked, I've done window shopping, I've been massaged, I've swam, I don't know what more we need. We have done everything today and now we're going to sleep and like nobody's ever slept. Like queens. <laughs> day in Milan and unfortunately it has began with an L <laughs> so the plan was to go to Lake Como and when I looked up online I read the whole website it said that it only takes 40 minutes from central Milan to Lake Como so I was just like that's absolutely calm like minor but it failed to mention that those, those trains come every hour um, and the whole journey then like with boat and things turns out to be much much longer so we just thought it would be riding it way too thin um, and we had to we had to leave it i've had a strop but it's stick on the chin <laughs> i've had a strop but we've um, changed the plans and it just means that's the, another reason why we have to come back to Absolutely. italy but this time we're going to switzerland and jump over the border to let go exactly um so yeah right now we're going to get some Coffee. You can hear the barista making it in the background, <laughs> and um, then we're gonna do an open, bus tour. open bus tour to learn a little bit about Milan and everything. And then we're gonna go do brunch at the Dome, another TikTok recommendation. Um, yeah, and take some pictures. They look cutie. So outfit check. Urban outfitters. Urban outfitters. Zara got this um, yesterday. This I think Primark a few years ago, and then I'm just wearing some tights and Air Force. Okay, so we are being tourists for real. <laughs> we are on the red bus. It's very windy. It's not frozen. It's, 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 like, it's at 15 degrees, um, and it's a bit windy, but uh, it's, it's good so clever so they give you earphones and then you plug them in and then you click whatever language you want Up 
we decided we just hopped off of the bus and we're gonna go to Dome for brunch. And we're just trying to figure out our way there. It's straight ahead. Straight ahead, okay. Yeah, so okay, Captain. Aye, aye. <laughs> uh, yeah. Such a nice time in Milan. 